He plays in the Premier League. He's a striker. He has the same haircut as Erling Haaland. But that's where the similarities end between Darwin Nunez and the Norwegian behemoth. It's simple. Football saved Nunez and his family from a life stricken with poverty. Stick around as we'll chronicle Darwin's journey from Artigas to Anfield. Darwin Nunez was born on the 24th of June 1999 in Artigas, a town situated on the border of Brazil in the very north of Uruguay. And Nunez was born into a family of very modest means. His father, Bibiano Nunez, worked in construction and spent his days on the building site earning next to nothing. But despite his measly pay packet, when money was needed for Nunez to buy boots, he didn't hesitate for a second. His mother, Silvia Ribeiro, a housewife, used to collect plastic bottles and resell them in an effort to supplement their income. Two occupations that made making ends meet an arduous task. The Nunez family resided in a deprived area of town where rent was less, but the risk of flooding was widespread. And on many occasions, the Quadraima River flooded its banks and forced the Nunez clan from their beds, as did the pouring rain that the region is famed for. Young Darwin grew up in the town alongside his older brother, Junior, whom, for reasons that will soon become clear, he considered a hero. Artigas is situated in a remote corner of Uruguay, 600 kilometers from the capital, Montevideo. So as you might expect, there aren't an abundance of prospects. So what do people do in South America when there isn't a lot to do? Play football. The Nunez brothers both started their footballing journeys in Artigas and both showed their early promise. Darwin was known as a shy child, but that all changed once he had that ball at his feet. For him, football was an escape. My first touches of a ball were wonderful moments. I remember my first time. It was on the pitches of Piratas Juniors FC of Artigas, where my older brother played. An escape that became even more meaningful as the family's financial frailties worsened. At times he would go to bed on an empty stomach, and on occasions his mother would have to sacrifice herself in order to feed her hungry children. But each time his mother sacrificed herself, Darwin promised his mother that better times would come. I used to tell her that when I turned professional and I had enough money to buy a house, I'd buy her one. Possessing talent and dedication in abundance, fate, would soon offer him a helping hand. Jose Perdomo, a former Penodal legend turned scout, spotted Nunez playing and was immediately convinced that the striker had something special. So in 2014, Darwin left the family home and enrolled in the Penodal Academy, one of the biggest clubs in Uruguay. A club that was situated in the capital, Montevideo. Football was no longer a hobby but an opportunity to save his family from a life of deprivation. But it would prove a painful road, one full of sacrifices for the precocious talent. He wouldn't be alone in Montevideo, however. He also had his elder brother alongside him. But a family tragedy would soon rock the Nunes family and the two brothers were forced to return to Artigas to help their parents. And it would soon be Junior's turn to sacrifice himself for the betterment of his younger brother. Believing Darwin had more potential to go further in the game, Junior ordered the younger sibling to stay at Penera. As the eldest offspring, Junior felt compelled to aid the family cause. As a result, he relinquished his own burgeoning career to return to Artigas and help his parents. My brother was training with the Penarol first team, but he had to leave due to life events, family problems, so we left. At the time, I was also going to return to Artigas, but he said, stay, you have a future. I'm leaving. Ever since then, Darwin has idolized his older brother. Junior sacrificed his own dreams in order for his brother to pursue his. Now, the hard work was just beginning. A long road lay ahead, and that house he promised his mother had to be earned. But young Darwin had that fire in his belly, and little by little, he was progressed through the ranks. With the help of the club and his agent, he brought his parents to Montevideo. But during a Division III game, disaster struck, and he suffered a cruciate ligament injury. And when such an injury occurs at 16, your hopes of turning pro diminish by the second. Faced with the gravity of the injury, the trauma of surgery, the lengthy rehabilitation, and a return to Artigas, Darwin was close to abandoning his dream. Equipped with admiring mental fortitude, he held firm, and yet again, it was thanks to his brother that he never surrendered. After months on the sidelines, Darwin eventually made his return 
and his coach rewarded his resilience with a first team debut in November 2017. But it would soon turn into a nightmare. His debut would end in tears. He realized that his knee was still causing him discomfort. He'd either return too soon or worse, his injury hadn't recovered. Further treatment was needed and another lengthy layoff was in sight. Once again, the Uruguayan demonstrated exemplary determination and by June 2018, he was back playing with Penarol. His subsequent form caught the eye of a European club and no, it wasn't Real Madrid or Manchester City, rather Almeria, a second division Spanish side. In the summer of 2019, Darwin moved to UD Almeria for $15 million, becoming the most lucrative sale in Penarol's history in the process. This was inconsequential to Darwin, but the move enabled him to come good on a promise. As soon as I was transferred to Spain, I bought my parents six hectares of land in Montevideo. He stayed in Spain for a solitary season, scoring 16 goals in 32 matches, earning as much of a reputation for his skills as his hot-headed nature. During his spell at Almeria, a boyhood dream was realized as he made his debut for the Uruguayan national team. And as they say, the rest is history. Two prolific seasons at Benfica ensued, which culminated in him scoring six goals in the 2021-22 Champions League, a club record. Better still, those goals came against Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Ajax, and Liverpool. From form that convinced Liverpool to part with $75 million to secure his services. It hasn't been smooth sailing since his arrival, facing criticism for his performances in their preseason friendlies, as well as that vicious headbutt against Crystal Palace. But this is a road well traveled for Nunes. He experienced a similar backlash after Benfica's loss to Sporting Lisbon in the Taca de Liga final back in January. Absent due to international duty with Uruguay, he came under stinging criticism from his own fans. But he retaliated in the best way possible by scoring after just 30 minutes upon his return. So no surprises why the striker has resiliencia penned on his Instagram bio. The Uruguayan has come too far and made too many sacrifices to surrender now. This was Darwin Nunez's story, and we hope you enjoyed listening. That was the first installment of our new feature, Origins. We hope you enjoyed this new format, but make sure to leave your feedback in the comments. Now, if you want to watch something similar, check out our video on... We'll see you soon with a new episode, but for now, take care. And as always, football forever!